why should our national security be tied to or held for funding for Ukraine or Israel? These are two separate issues. And I believe that our southern border needs to be a top priority. The Democrat Party needs to quit playing political games with the safety of the American people. We can fix this problem, and it cannot get caught up with D.C. politics. Thousands and thousands of illegal crossings every single day are happening in our country, and we have to put a stop to it. Our Border Patrol agents are exhausted. They cannot apprehend everyone that is coming in illegally into our country. We've already had over a million gotaways, and these could be the most dangerous individuals coming in into our country. Our top priority needs to be our southern border. I cannot stress that enough. Mark, when you see uh, Speaker Johnson saying they need to negotiate responsibly, is that even possible now at this point? I don't think it is. I think the Democrats have played their hand. Look, as you said, Bianca, H.R. 2, it's the strongest, <clears throat> excuse me, strongest border security piece of legislation that's ever come out of, of, of the United States Congress. It was passed by the House. All but one, I think, uh, cons uh, Republican senators voted for it. That's it. That's what we need. And ironically, I don't even think that bill goes far enough, but it is, as I said, the strongest piece of border security legislation that we've ever seen. And right now you have a Senator, uh, 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 Majority Leader Schumer saying the Republicans won't meet us halfway. That's just a lie. I'd like to ask him, what is halfway to giving the men and women on our front lines the ability to actually defend our borders against the lawlessness and the chaos about the drugs flowing in, killing Americans, the criminals, as Maya said, and the national security threat? Bianca, there is no halfway with respect to securing our own southern border. Meanwhile, the Democrats want to give Ukraine $62 billion, and they want to throw a pittance at our own border that will do nothing, nothing, except actually accelerate the, uh, the illegal entry and the process of release into our country. And, you know, you, you take an oath to uphold the Constitution, and there seems to be a dereliction of duty if you are not securing our border there, and that is... That's in black and white. That's not really a negotiation here. Um, and I think Americans realize that. And they're they're quite fearful, not just on the border, as you guys know. It's, it's a lot of other cities. I want to play a little bit and talk about uh, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson, because he is now saying that it's about conservatives that have destroyed his city. The Daily Signal reporting that Johnson said this, quote, conservative extremists have been quite intentional about going after Democrat-ran cities that are led by people of color. Uh, Myra, I mean, this is kind of, a, a, I'm sure it's offensive to you also as a Latina that he's throwing race into something when it really is just about national security. Absolutely. I was actually there in Chicago last week and I got to see the humanitarian crisis and we want to stop busing people to Chicago, but he needs to demand the Biden administration to secure the border. But he's a coward. He'll never ask the Biden administration to secure the border. He'd rather continue playing politics with the people of Chicago. If he wants the safety mm -hmm. of the people of Chicago and the American people, he should demand border security. But I personally saw what's happening in Chicago, and it's heartbreaking, but it doesn't compare to what we are going through here in South Texas. No, it doesn't. It's just a fraction of it. I mean, you have Eric Adams, Mark, in New York, who's calling out the Biden administration, but it's still not solving the problem. Uh, so they can call them out if you're Adams. They can not call them out and play the race card if you're Brandon Johnson. Overall, it is just a matter of enforcing the border. That is, that's the only solution here. Mark. Absolutely. That's it. And you're right. It, it, and look, they're, they're all playing the blame game, except for, let's be very careful, even when America Adams points fingers at the administration, what's he pointing fingers at? Not to change policy to reverse course on the open borders and secure them, to stop the drugs, criminals, illegal aliens, and potential national security threats, Bianca. He's just asking for the Biden administration to give him more money to deal with the crisis after it's already in the United States. He hasn't asked his own legislators in the state to reverse its sanctuary city law, neither have Chicago, right? It's all virtual signaling. They're just asking for more U.S. taxpayer money, but they're not actually going to the root of the crisis and actually securing our southern border to stop the threats from coming in. That's right. And we know New York is a major target. There's already been concerns about lone wolf actions, so he's on the record there for trying to do it. But we just pray that nothing happens, obviously. As some say it's a matter of if, not when. Myra Flores, Mark Morgan, appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for being with us today on Newsline. We'll have you back real soon. You bet. Thank you. God bless you.